To prepare this field, we're gonna grind up those little bit of trees. That is a brand new Aztec grinder right behind me powered by a Caterpillar C32, which is the same engine that powers a D11 Caterpillar's biggest bulldozer. Welcome everybody to the 2023 BuildWit Roadshow. 34 days, 11,000 miles, 27 US states, and three jabronis. So buckle up, because you're coming with us. Welcome to Build Roadshow, day 12. We are outside of Fresno, California, about 20 minutes east. We're with McCahill Bulldozer Services. Out here is all ag land. They grow nuts, they grow citrus, they grow grapes, they grow just about everything out here. This behind me is more farmland that's about to be prepared for citrus specifically. Before you can do that though, you have to clear whatever the heck is there existing. What McKay Hill does is they get rid of old crops, old almond, pecan, walnut, orange trees, and they prepare the field for that next crop. And you might have just seen that is a brand new Aztec grinder right behind me, powered by a Caterpillar C32, which is the same engine that powers a D11 Caterpillar's biggest bulldozer. Why do we have a grinder? Why not just burn it? Well, you used to be able to burn out here. You can still burn in a few places in California's Central Valley, but because of the air quality requirements, you can't light things on fire as you please anymore. And so what farmers have to do to clear their crops is use and hire companies like McKay Hill that use these massive grinders, throw all of the trees into that grinder, turn it into chips, and then mix the chips into the soil. So this tractor here is carrying a spreader box. We'll fill that spreader box with chips. The tractor will drive around, spread the chips all over this area, and then they'll come through with a dozer, rip it, stir those chips into the soil, and that will be ready for new citrus trees so that you can have all of the oranges and orange juice you please. Notice all their machines are wildly specialized. This 330 has that rake and custom thumb on it. That 972 has that awesome rake grapple setup on the front there. And forestry guarding, it's an aggregate handler machine with a forestry package on it because all of this, when that machine is pushing into piles of crushed trees will tear hydraulic lines, wiring harnesses, anything exposed. So everything that is vulnerable to attack from trees is protected on that loader and all of his machines. Every machine they have in their fleet is tailored to this kind of work, ag work, out here in Central California. We are in the belly of the beast. This is the feeder, so the trees are dropped right where I'm standing by that 330 and are dragged towards the business end of the machine. This right here 
is typically a little lower and it's pressing down on the, the trees coming in here and it forces the trees down and into the real business end and this is the part that shreds the trees. It spins really quickly. It has these bits here that go up so it spins this way. It pulverizes the tree and as it does it has a great below to size the material so as the tree gets shredded it drops through that grate. It stays in there until it's sized and then goes onto a conveyor belt out the other end. This is a machine built to eat trees and it is a joy to watch. We're now gonna learn how to load a Caterpillar 330 West Coast style over the back of the trailer. He's doing it first and then he's gonna let me try. Okay. Yeah. You got this. I'm pretty sure he knows I've rolled the machine before, and he's still letting me try. This is the West Coast style <laughs> of doing this. Is yeah. That's how they're made. Yeah. yeah. They're made to load off the back, so you don't have to detach the neck. It's fast. And it just gets right over. The main thing is keeping it level. Okay. If you're not level, if the trailer's not level, you'll slide. Yeah. That's where people get all weird about, you know. So nice and level, expand it out. How hard can it be? My merit badge. Yeah. Okay. I just don't. I I I haven't run equipment enough to get used to the feeling of a machine not being right level. That's what I'm telling you. It's, that's the biggest trip is people going over the back. Just, yeah. But once you've done it a couple times, it's like. <clears throat> all right. No, that that wasn't that wasn't that no. bad. All right, we've shredded some trees. We've learned how to West Coast low bed. Now we are here to learn about deep ripping. So we have gotten rid of the trees. We have prepared our blank canvas. We're ti it's time to replant citrus or whatever. First up, you have to deep rip. So they use big dozers like this D10 here with that ripper and that plow on the back to break through the hard pan a few feet below the surface so that those future trees that's so cool those future trees can penetrate the ground a little bit better 
And that plow, what it does is as it cuts through the surface, it stirs up that the, the material further down, that brings those nutrients to, to uh, I guess, surface level so that the trees, the new trees can use those nutrients as they grow and mature. So they'll rip in one direction all the way down, they'll rip in the other direction all the way down, and then the farmers can come in here and plant their trees. Okay, we're all done here outside of Fresno, California, Central Valley, the bread basket where all of your fruits and lots of stuff you eat is grown. We saw tractors, grinders, all sorts of fun stuff, had great food, saw Josh at McCahill and Company. So I'm very happy from here, we're gonna go to Sacramento about three and a half hours north. So we will see you on the next one. Stay dirty. <laughs>